<clears throat> I'm hope I'm live <laughs> in the right place. I didn't um, for some reason. <clears throat> I don't see the <laughs> the stream was set up or set up correctly. Maybe um, I don't know. Yeah, I forgot to press the button. Um, right. So I am here. It's Wednesday night. I'm just quickly going to get the link and share it. I hope everybody is doing okay. Um, and then we can get started. So, <laughs> in end, I did have a look at the bubble we started last week, but I kind of like abandoned it <laughs> because I think it's just going to be too um, too much of a, get a shareable link. There we go. <clears throat> too much of a bother to sort of it's too simple. I thought. That, that 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 was my thought process that it was like a little bit too simple so i thought we'd do something different um tonight i would like to um play with some crystals um i was looking for a bracelet because i think it would be so nice i don't know if any of you done the pixie bracelet um i done <laughs> quite a long time ago and i was looking for it to see if i can find one but i think they must be at the warehouse um, to show you because I think it would be so nice to put something like that around it. I have designed a ball ball which I'm going to be teaching in the beat club not next week, the week after and I'll show you that one as well in a second but I just thought um, we got so many bracelet designs and we could really do anything around the ball ball and then kind of sort of suspend it from the top and the bottom so coming from that sort of perspective I think it would be nice to sort of just play around and um, this um, pixie bracelet, um, if you do, um, just hang on one second, just go ink live now. Um, if you do remember, I think it would. it's quite easy to do, it's a right angle weave and I think it would be it would be quite nice to, to have it around the bubble. Good evening Edward, Janice, Michelle. Um, Lucy, good evening, my lovely. I hope you are okay. Um, and we're just gonna get started. Just one second. Let me just drop these links on Facebook. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna turn you down, move this out of the way. I'm gonna show you the bauble I'm gonna be doing um, for Beat Club. And then in a couple of weeks, and then uh, we're gonna get started. Um, very, very easy pattern now because <clears throat> the way how I want to work it. So we got our bauble, and where I want the pattern, I kind of sort of want it all around it. That we have to make, we have to kind of reverse engineer it because we can't really start at the top uh, because we don't know how many little units we're gonna end around and end with with or going around. Um, our bauble. So we're going to make the units, what we want, which is going to be the sort of the ribbon, the majority of our decoration for the bauble. And then we're going to work out how we're going to connect it at the top and how we're going to connect it at the bottom. Or if we want to do, we could do sort of a tesselly bottom and all sorts of different things. So I'm going to use four millimeter crystals for this. I'm going to grab a color and um, where did I show we do around the red bauble? So if we do a red bauble, Shall we use another bit more pink? Oh, I got a beautiful pink bauble there. <laughs> and I'm going to use this um, autumn crystals. Um, oh, with gold. I think that would look really good. Let me just grab. Uh, I grabbed some baubles out. So, because Lucy's here tonight, let's do pink. Um, and I'm going to use gold seed beads with this. Um, so just grabbing some seed beads, some gold ones. When you need a gold seed, you can never really put your hand on it. Well, I just got some. So I'm going to turn you down and we're going to get started. I'm going to grab a thread. I'm going to use a gold thread as well. And we're going to do the band going around. Um, Lucy's saying, oh, good. I napped most of the afternoon. <laughs> when I finished work, I, I did go and lay on a sofa for, for like, I was just going to sit down for five minutes and I have fallen asleep. So I was there for, I don't know, maybe <laughs> half an hour or a bit longer. Um, I had, by myself, I had a little nap. I think after naps are the best. Right. Okay. So I'm going to go down on the table. Let's zoom this in and then we're going to get 
started there we go oh maybe that's a bit too much so i mean let's come out a bit so threading needle oh we could even do some little twirls on the top they can connect into so there's so many different patterns you can do with any of the beads really um and it's just kind of working out which one is is works the best. Let me just move myself in the corner a little bit. So I'm in the middle. There we go. So I'm going to start by using four crystals. I'm going to sew those together. And then we're going to add seed beads in between. And after we added the seed beads in between, we're going to add... Maybe we can do like a little twirl on the seed beads as well. So we add more seed beads in on the top of the seed beads. Right, there we go. Seed beads out. So I'm going to start with four crystals. And I'm going to sew these four crystals together. One sec. And then I'm just going to put a little bit <laughs> of oil on my, my hands are so dry at the moment I think it's the winter when the weather turns um I don't know my hand just just goes super super dry and I just looked at my hands and I'm like oh I need to put a little bit of tiny bit of oil nail oil, nail oil on it so you don't seem horrible dry hands good evening Ruth nice to see you here Rachel is saying, oh, Lucy, nice. I have technical problem most of that afternoon. Rachel, do let us know what sort of technical problems did you have um, in the afternoon? Right, four crystals. I'm going to take all of these four crystals down. And then I'm going to come through all four of them one more time from the other side. And actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go into the first one one more time, so I can really pull this nice and tight. I'm gonna pick up a seed bead and just go through the next crystal. I'm gonna pick up another seed bead, go through the next crystal. I'm gonna pick up another seed bead, go through the next crystal. Gonna pick up another seed bead and come to the next crystal. Now we could add some little twirlies on the top of these before we go any further. So if I go into the seed bead and I pick up another three seed beads and I do all the way around, that's kind of like adds a bit more of a pattern in there. What's going on? There we go. So just went into the seed bead. I'm going to pick up another three seed beads, go through the seed bead, the next crystal, and the next seed bead. And it's just, we could have added just two, but I think three, because we're working four crystals at a time, it just makes a nicer pattern. And then once we finish this all the way around, we're going to have the tops and the bottoms of these seed beads to hook into and secure it onto the bauble. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to add a little twirl. I'm not sure how many times we'll be able to go through the seed beads, but I think we will be just fine going all the way around because obviously we're going to have to pass through one more time as we're going around. There we go. So I'm going to go to the opposite end. I don't have to go into the seed bead anymore if I don't want to. Just go into the crystal. And then once I get down to the other side, I'm going to go through a seed bead. I'm going to come up on the side of the seed bead. And go into the... What's going on with my thread? <laughs> and the top seed bead. There we go. I was rushing a little bit this evening because I was cooking dinner and it's not ready. <laughs> it wasn't ready and I was like, come on, I'm hungry. But um, I just have to eat afterwards. Um, I'm making chicken and pea soup and I'm making potato pie for tomorrow. But um, it just didn't get done on time. So I'm going to pick up four crystals. I'm going to come through this very last seed beads one more time. 
but <laughs> I just sort of sticked it through and I'm not going through the right way. What am I doing today? <laughs> well, what's going on this evening? Let's pull this out. I'm not paying attention what I'm doing. So my thread is exiting at the bottom, as you can see. So I'm going to come from the top and come through that seed bead one more time. So then it pulls the next four in sort of a little circle just right there. Then I'm going to go through one of the crystals. I'm going to go through this crystal. I'm going to pick up a seed bead. I'm going to go through the next crystal. I'm going to pick up another seed bead. Next crystal. Seed bead. Next crystal. And I'm not going to go into the seed bead that I had previously there. I'm going to jump over that seed bead because I want to sew these two crystals together as well. And straight into the seed bead. Picking up another three. So each time, like I'm going through and I'm going around the units quite a lot. So it's going to be quite nice and strong. It would be nice as a bracelet as well, but we could connect any one of these seed beads. We could connect units to because it's kind of leading itself to sort of the connection there. Pulling this up, going through the next one. One, two, three. And then I'm just going to circle back and go to the end and add the next unit on. And I'm going to go around. I'm going to quickly beat around until I get enough so it will be a band around the seed bead. These are four millimeter crystals and size 11 seed beads. We could, in theory, do it larger. So we could do it with size eight seed beads and maybe six millimeter crystals that would look good too and then it would grow quicker as well um good evening joe nice to see you here um rachel saying pink cross it may be sorted that internet kept dropping off i have managed to change the channel of it so watching you tonight kitty will tell me if sorted so no pressure um looks very pretty lucy's saying i um, hello miss rainbow that's for joe hope it's all well um so I'm just going to keep going and doing a little band and we're going to add this band on a side of a bauble and I think that's going to look quite nice and, and we're going to work out how many units we need to go around the bauble and then we're going to work out how we're going to suspend it at the top and how we're going to like what we're going to do with the bottom if you're doing um tassels or you tell me what you want me to do if you want me to do tassels or if you want me to do um we could just pull it together and sew it on there. There is so many different things we could do. So I'm just added a unit of four crystals, going to the first crystal, picking up a seed bead, second crystal. Sometimes, like when you work with crystals, um, you can have a little bit of sharp edge on one of the crystals. But here, because we're going around so much, the crystals, I think we're going to be fine because we pass through the crystals like one, to three, almost four times. Just going into the seed bead and then adding the little units. There, one, two, three. There we go. I'm probably gonna be like, this would make a nice bracelet as well, I think. And then we could if we did this a bracelet, because the seed beads are sitting that way, we could like kind of put other bits of pieces and other beads in between the gaps there as well. I love it. I just love making all sorts of little patterns and, and all sorts. Not just jewelry, but home decor as well. I think it's so nice to utilize your... making skills and do and do something for home decor so let me know in the chat what was your favorite home decor project you have made 
with beads, of course. <laughs> and if you have got pictures, send us a picture and then I can show it off to everybody. Just message me a picture and I can show it off. So another four crystals. Coming through, adding the seed beads in. And all the way around. Rachel saying, can't remember what was called, but the other day we did a beaded miracle bead. They would look nice hanging off the the bauble. Yeah, absolutely. Beaded beads are such a nice way to do decorations. And if you do beaded beads in larger sizes, like for example, 10 or 12 millimeter miracle beads, then they're going to make like you know substantial size so they can be used instead of a bauble as well they're really good to do right i'm just running around and adding the seed beads on i love beaded beads i have got a big <laughs> a big big um sort of box in the cupboard with beaded beads loads of them oh no i missed <coughs> What did I do? Did I? How did I got this little thread path here? Oh no, it just hooked around that seed bead. There we go. We don't want any rogue thread path. Joy sent me a picture. Brilliant. I will bring in just in a second sec and show it off to you. That looks lovely. Obviously. <laughs> there are miracle beads on it. Wouldn't accept anything else from Joe if it wasn't Miracle Beads in her creations. You need to come on and do a live with us, Joe, and show it off and show it all off. Right, going up. There we go. I've done four units. I think because I'm going around one more time and adding those extra seed beads, it's kind of like slower than if I weren't adding those in. But I think it's worth it because I think it makes it look like really nice. Maybe it would be better to use larger crystals because then obviously they, the units would be larger. But then I think if we add the larger crystals on a bubble, they might be too big. But I think this will be look really nice as a little band on there. What do you think? <laughs> Joe said, I'm so predictable. <laughs> Sent you a picture. All right, let's grab this picture so I can show it to you. There we go. So, this is Joe's creations. She's been using miracle beads, of course. So doing stars and doing I, I really love the red and white. Usually, like I don't I don't really do anything red and white. I usually do red and green. But I think that looks really, really nice. That's uh, um I'm gonna do red and white as well. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Thanks for the inspiration. I think that looks really nice. So I'm gonna go and add a few more units to this and see how we go. I think this is probably about quarter of the way, so we probably need about 16 units in total to go around the bauble, but it depends on the size of the bauble as well. And this is the thing, like with baubles, like <laughs> you buy them in different shops and they are different sizes. And when the size is like, and look at these two, they different. This one is a bit, this one is a bit smaller than this one. And it's maybe only, I don't know, this one is 60 mil, maybe this one is 55, 50 or 55 mil. I haven't got a caliber to measure it, but it's enough. That little difference is enough that the um, what you're making might not fit as well on it. So it's always nice to make your own decorations on, a, on the top of the bauble and sort of evaluate it. With netted designs, it's easier because the netting will just fit over the bubble whatever size it is but when you make a specific band to go around they kind of need to fit that bubble customer order red white and silver joe is saying god bless 
She's got she's got a good eye. We definitely need to try red and white out. I think it looked really good. It's got like sort of Christmassy feel, but at the same time, it's sort of got an icy feel to it as well, I think. But then candy cane is red and white, isn't it? I would love to do a Christmas tree with all my own makes on it. Maybe not this year. Oh, this Lucy Dutz, I think um, that's a really lovely idea. We need to... Maybe we need to do, I don't know, maybe we need to do a pack <laughs> for next year and um, do maybe one or two decorations every single month. So by the time December comes, like we are ready and we got enough to put on, on a little tree, our craft tree. Ooh, I just, <laughs> maybe we should do like a monthly kit um, to dress up a tree. That would be good. There's some different things we could do. But I think it's easier when you do it with somebody else as well because then it like sort of kind of makes you, keeps you in track to do them. Oh, and the England work up for, yeah, absolutely. I don't watch football, so I don't, I, that didn't really register for me at all, Joe. I know England and Wales was playing yesterday, but I don't even know who won or <laughs> I'm just so, it's not like I'm not interested, but I'm just always busy with other things and like, I, I don't even know when was the last time we watched football in our house. Lucy, Lucy went through a period about a year or two ago. <laughs> she was watching all the football matches. <laughs> And then I realized that she wasn't watching the football. She was, she was, she was sort of getting the age. She was watching the boys kicking around the football. Bless her. Aww. So I'm just running around, adding the seed beads in, and then adding sort of a seed bead to cup the seed beads around. Pink and silver. Oh, that's giving me an idea already. And <laughs> this is saying. I ha I sometimes have a pink tree. I can't even remember what we had last year. But uh, when Lucy was little, she was only about, I don't know, maybe just over two, two and a half. All she wanted is a pink Christmas tree. And I was like, well, I looked and to buy all new baubles because I didn't have a single pink bauble at that time for our tree would have been like over a hundred pounds. And I said to and, and I was like, oh... <laughs> You know, we can't we can't have a pink tree and that that year we just had our traditional tree. But then one of the shops were closing down after that Christmas and I went in and they had pink baubles for like I don't know two, three pounds a pack and they were like big packs. So I bought about twenty pounds worth of it and it fills up the whole tree and it looked beautiful. So that year, the end of that year um, so no, next year, next Christmas, we had a pink tree and it looked really, really good. So it's nice to have a pink tree. Do let me know. Let me know in the comments. What color tree do you do? What, what, what color is the tree in your house? I don't know what color we're going to do this year. Might do a silver one. I know all my gold decorations when we went to Hungary, um, oh my God, it was about six years ago. Now I took them out and they're still out there. So I can't have a gold tree. I got some gold, but not sort of as many. And we got blue, but I don't know how much blue I have got. We got red, we got silver. Maybe I have a red and silver tree. <laughs> that would look nice this year silver and white on a black artificial tree oh Janice that might looks might, that must look really nice you have to send us a picture I would be really interested to see that my tree is white and have teal and silver on it that must look really good as well you see oh look I just picked up three <laughs> crystals instead of four thinking about Christmas too much like, am I going to be okay? Yeah. One of the crystals needed for more crystals as well to take it off the strand. 
But Lucy's saying she's decided not to put up the silver one this year. Why? You can have two trees up. You can have one tree up in one room and have another tree up in another room. If you wanted to. Or have a tree up in every single room. I do need to get the tree up. I won't have time this weekend because Natalie's coming down. And we will be up to no good designing all sorts of things. But um, next weekend I think we will have to put the tree up. I do like that I tree up sort of early-ish. Because otherwise, like, you know, you, or this, that, we have more time to enjoy all the decorations. Or the, let me go to the, all the nice decorations. It will be Roxy's for first Christmas as well. So I'm not sure how she's going to be with the tree. If she's going to be tippling it over. <laughs> or if she's going to be leaving it alone. We see. Well, I'm just going to go through this unit, get to the end and then see, try onto the bauble that how much more are we going to need. So often when I do something like this, I do like to stop and just try it. Um, because if, because <laughs> otherwise I just keep on going and it will be not a band, but it will be a wraparound, <laughs> the bauble itself. So many people have decks and trees up already, Lucy is saying. I, it's one of my favorite things to do. And we always do this with the kids. Um, not like sort of, I don't know, not, 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 not like not until maybe the 20, 21st, 22nd of December or sometimes even the 23rd. Um, we go out in the evening and we drive around and we just look at all the uh, pretty lights sort of on the houses. Um, I just love it. I really do love it. I think it's such a nice thing to do. Right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and it's about almost halfway around it. But I think that's going to look really good. And then we'll suspend it to the, towards the top and the bottom. But we we'll see how many we're going to have going around. So we can suspend, we, if we need to suspend them every third one or every second one, or we will see um, how we're going to go up. And then you need like at least four suspensions going around i think maybe three is enough um before definitely so it looks good and um and we see so i'm just going to keep on going debbie's saying that's pretty thank you so this is Kind of the, based on the pixie bracelet we did because I was thinking last week after I finished the live and I had to have to admit I last week I was a bit sort of frustrated with the bobble because it taken so long to do and it didn't really it was nice and plain and simple but it didn't really like I didn't really think I achieved that much with it and I did have a little go during the week and um but then I decided to sort of abandon it and sometimes it works like that you do a design and and you just sort of decide, you give permission to give up. Um, that I'm not, not going to pursue it. Um, so I was looking at, and I was saying this last week as well, I think we've got so many different bracelets. So any of those bracelets could be a band on a bauble. So we've got hundreds and hundreds of different designs already, um, or hundreds and hundreds of different patterns, what you know already, what you can then utilize um, and um, add it onto your bauble. One, two, three. So I got... Oh, Lucy sent me a picture of her silver and turquoise. She looks really nice. I'm going to bring it in and show it just in a sec. Let me just go around this unit. Oh, ladies, if you got pictures, uh, please do send in. I think it would be really nice to see them. I think that's what sort of... I love Christmas. Christmas is one of my favorite... Well, it's my favorite holiday, really. <laughs> I really, really do love Christmas. There's so much. It's just sort of... There's so much to do, like you, you can make decorations, the food, the everything. And it's just sort of spending time with family as well and friends and loved ones. 
I think it's a nice, one of the nicest holidays. Although I wouldn't say no to a beach holiday right now. <laughs> so I'm going to keep on going at a few more units, but I'm just very quickly going to bring in Loose is picture and show it to you. There we go. So this is Lucy's silver tree with turquoise um, turquoise bubbles on it. There we go. I think that looks really, really good. I need to zoom out a little bit. I think that looks really, really good. Very sort of frosty. Like, I love it. I really do love it. Sometimes you get like some of the trees. Um, so when obviously I'm from Hungary and in the winter you get frost and you get snow. And for me, um, I can honestly say, and, and to be honest, like it's probably peaceful, but um, what comes to mind. Um, when you go out in the winter and you got snow, and all the trees like white and they got frost over them. It's just so beautiful. It just has got its own own beauty. I just really love it. Oh, I just got caught on that bead. Come on. Don't be naughty thread now. You've been so good all the evening. Don't be naughty now. So I'm keep on adding the same pattern. We need to add a few more units and then we're going to join the end and the beginning together. And once we join it together, we will try on the bauble and see how many places we need to join it at the top and the bottom. And I might actually do that with a separate piece of thread because you're pretty much going to use up a lot of thread just to going around and doing this band. And we could start with a separate piece of thread and sort of coming down and hooking into the band we already created. <laughs> Lucy's saying, my other half said no to pink. Lucy, I will dig out a picture for you. I probably have to scroll back quite a bit. I'll dig out a picture for you and I'll send it to you. It looks rather good. And you have to show it to him. And if you're going to say no to after that, then you're going to need a eat, tree each. <laughs> you're going to have to have your own tree in your craft room. That can be pink, can't it? Right, I'm getting to the end. I probably need another maybe two or three units. There we go. Ruth is saying it's beautiful. Ruth is saying beautiful. Jenny sent me a picture. Um, Jenny, let me just have a look. <laughs> Where did your picture go? Um, I have gone in here. Hang on one sec. Let me just have a look. If I can find it. He's just loading. Can you let me know, Jenny, where you sent me the picture? Because I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't see the picture what you sent. One, two, three, four. So I'm exiting at the bottom. I'm gonna come through from the top. So the crystals hug that seed bead. And I'm going to go to the first crystal, pick up a seed bead, go to the second crystal, and so on all the way around. Joe's saying, Lucy, as quick as I make them, my pink decorations sell straight away. I do think pink is a lovely colour. I love pink. And I think like some pinks go so well with gold. Oh, maybe Lucy, that's what you need to do. So I've got an idea for you. See like this crystal here, which has got gold, but it's also got pink in it. So maybe what you need to do is, you know, gradually get him used to a pink tree. So this year, do gold and then like 75% gold and 25% pink on the tree. Next year, do 50% gold. 
<laughs> and 50% pink on the tree. And then the year after, you're going to do 25% gold and 75% pink on the tree. <laughs> and the year after that, you can just have a pink tree. So you're going to take you like four years to have a pink tree, but you can have a pink tree. And then if he says anything, you can say like, well, last year we had pink tree as well, which is true. You just had more gold on it. <laughs> how about that? How's, how's the idea? How's, how's that logic for you? What, what do we think about that one? Gradually adding more pink to the tree every single year. I think that would be so good. Right, I am just coming through. Let's just have a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm at ten right now so, and i'm gonna need another one two three four i think another four and and then we will be able to zip it together so 14 what we can divide the 14 12 we could do fours 14 i might have to go up to 15 and have it a little bit um looser because then we could do every third one but 14 we can do every second one um, that's true. Oh, no, I need more crystals. Facebook. Um, let me just refresh this page. Maybe it just hasn't come through. Uh, have a look. Because I have got, I have got it open. Did you send it to the Kitty Robinson Designs or did you send it to Totally Bees Lovey? Um, let me know. So I know where to check. <laughs> There's so many places you can send um, send pictures to. I just need to be in the right right inbox. So do let me know where you where you send them. Barbara is saying just sorry just joins. Oh, not to worry. We're just making a little band. Um, to go around the ball ball. I have abandoned <laughs> last week designing end because it was just, I don't know, I just didn't feel the spark in it. And um, I ha sometimes I have to put my hands up and just have to give permission to abandon a project and do something else with it later on. But sometimes I abandon it and a few months later I go back with a fresh idea and, and then it works again. But for now I have abandoned <laughs> last week's. So I'm doing a new one. This little band is going to go around the bauble and then we will see how we're going to suspend it right in the middle of the bauble. And we were kind of like discussing the all different size of baubles um, available out there. And sometimes having 55 or 60 mil bauble makes a very big difference when you design something onto the top of it. Um, because like one of them is going to be a bit too big. Right, I'm going all the way around. So that was like unit one or two. I think I need another two to add. And then we will be able to add it around. And then we will decide like how many places are we going to suspend this um, from the top. And do we are we going to do tassels at the bottom? Or are we going to... Um, We're going to sort of sew it onto the bauble itself. That, that's an option as well. There are so many different options. One, two, three, four. Going through this one again. Gwen is saying, am I on? Yes, Gwen. <laughs> Good evening, lovely. You are here. Nice to see you here. So Jenna, I still haven't got your picture, lovey. I don't know where you sent it, sweetie. Do you, send, do, you send it, do you send it through again um, to get your Robinson designs? You might have sent it to Total Beats. I can go and have a look, but I need to sort of log out and log back in with that one. So it would be easier if you send it to Kitty Robinson designs. And then I can have a look and bring it in. One, two, three. I'm going through this seed. One, two, three. 
going through the seed. And again, doing it the last. I think it just um, flicked up. So if I refresh the page now, it should be there. One, two, three. I'm just going to run around. I still can't see it. Why can I not see it? Um, all messages. Where is it gone? <laughs> Where is the messages gone? I'm clicking on all messages and it's not coming up on here. What's going on? What's coming up on the computer? I sort that just in a sec. If I have to, I can go and in with my phone and send a picture to the to the Mac that way. And um, I'll sort the ad just in a sec. Let me just get to the end of this. And see, I think, how many more do we need to go around? So we kind of, I think, one two three so that's that will be 15 i think which will sort of go all the way around so we can hang into every every third one if you go into every third one then we're gonna need a um to need a number of seed beads at the top we're gonna start with which is dividable by five because i'm gonna come down with five um five little loops so that's one unit and i need to add one more and then we will see if we can if we need one more or we're just gonna be adding like joining the end and the beginning together But then we have to add the unit on anyway because you're going to be hooking into the seed beads. So that, yeah. So I'm going to add it on. One, two. So I'm doing right angle weave, just sort of going around and adding three seed beads on at the moment to the side. So first, I'm going to talk you through the next unit. So if you just joined. There we go. Gonna come up to the top and add another unit on. Is that right? Did I do one or two units? <laughs> what did I do? Sometimes like forget to count and it's like, oh have I done it? Have I not done it? So make sure that the thread doesn't loop around. So this is just four millimeter crystals and size 11 seed beads. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna come through that seed bead. And then I'm gonna go through the crystal, pick up a seed bead, go through the second crystal. And then I'm gonna stop because if this is the unit where I need to join the beginning and the end, I would have to go through the seed bead on the other side. So let's just, Put this around it. No, I think we're gonna need one more unit. So this is not the joining unit yet. We need one more, or oh, maybe two more. We'll see. You wanna want it sort of kind of comfortably fit on it. You don't want it tight, but don't want it too loose either. When you're adding it on there, It's in comments. Very pretty. Jenny's saying Kitty Robinson designs. Um, I can't. I'll, I'll have a. Let me have a look, Janice, because I think um, it came on through my phone, but it didn't come through. 
Oh, I see. I see what happens. Um, you are... Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take... It's a little bit trickier to do it that way, but no worries. Um, um, I'm just going to bring it in and show it to everyone. So, I want to airdrop this to there and it's going to come through. Um, and then gonna go in here so this is Janice's tree so she's got a dark tree black tree by the look of it and putting silver bubbles and I think that looks really good as well I love it um <laughs> Joe is asking totally off the subject but are you getting Christmas nails done the time time to switch out French yeah absolutely um, I don't know. Um, I can't really have anything much sparkly because obviously it shows up on the video so much. And um, because we will be doing the holiday club this year, so we will be on Zoom and making stuff every single day um, for our 12 days of Christmas. <laughs> I'm so, so excited about that one. Um, Friday is going to be the Q&A for the 12 days of Christmas. You definitely want to... Um, Sort of tune in for that one because we will I will be telling you all about it. It pre-launched last week on Friday, and I think one of the colors are almost sold out already. So um yeah, that that will be that will be Friday. So I don't know. I, I don't know what I can get away with um in terms of sort of Christmas colors or Christmas nails because you don't want it too distracting either from the um the camera itself. So kinda I don't know. Um what do you suggest? You tell me. You know better Joe. What do you suggest I could I should be able to get away with? So it still looks sort of plainish because plain if it's something very dark, um sort of on your nails, like I, want, I don't know what can I grab here <laughs> to pull my nails to demonstrate to you, but if I have red nails, like can you imagine that um, as I'm doing the beading, that red is constantly there and then it kind of takes away the the view, like the, 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 from the, from the beads and what you're doing, it's kind, it can be a little bit distracting. Um, that's the word I was looking for. So what do you suggest, Joe? Do let us know. What does anybody else suggest? Um, what sort of nails, Christmas nails, am I allowed to have? <laughs> Love the tree, Janice. Uh, Michelle is saying very pretty tree. Lucy is saying, um, Lucy is saying I'm excited for holiday club. So am I. Um, are you going to be joining us, Joe? Thank you, Michelle. Janice is saying, um, I hope so. It would be so much fun. Um so anybody who doesn't know <laughs> what I'm talking about here every single year or over the last two years, we did 12 days of Christmas. The first year um, we did all pre-recorded videos and so we could have the two weeks off and, and sort of just, um, you we had did a bundle so you were able to make along. And um, it was really good, but <laughs> what I ended up doing, even though we were supposed to have the time off, every single day when the video was playing, I was in the chat and interacting with everybody. So last year I decided, Natalie did her videos as pre-recorded, but I did mine as live. And, and it was really nice to sort of, uh, I love, I love, I love doing lives. And this year, what we decided to do, that instead of having lives, we're going to do it in um, sort of a private Zoom class. Because, and I just added that one bead and I don't think I needed it. <laughs> I'm just going, I'm chatting so much, I'm getting so excited. Sort of a private Zoom class because it's not just us seeing you. I think we can get away adding one more in because that would be a stretch anyway. Um, it's not just us seeing each other. I mean, you can come in, you can have your camera off, you can have your camera on. It's really what you prefer. You can ask questions if you want to, if you don't, like, you know, you can just sort of sit and watch what everybody else is doing. But um, what we wanted to do is sort of give you a space that you can meet each other as well, because you're always together in the comments and you always... Um, you know, like, like know each other for a very long time since you've been following us and watching the lives. And 
I think this would be a beautiful opportunity to um, everybody to meet like-minded people and, and just sort of be together and design together. Now we've got hundreds and hundreds of designs um, already on, on under our belt. We've done before, um, <laughs> use so many different beads, use so many different um, you know, techniques. And um, what we did with the bundle, that I put the bundle together that there is like a really wide range of um, variety of of beads in there in terms of size and sort of there's crystals there is pearls i put gemstone chips in i put um hematite beads in a couple of strands so i really went through the warehouse and looked and added loads of different bits of pieces in there so we could do anything together I got PDFs to support it already, um, from a candle holder to I did put miracle beads in there as well, Joe. <laughs> but um, it will be starting on the nineteenth of December, ten to eleven a.m. every single day, except from um, all the way through to the thirty-first, and except um, no, we're gonna go to Christmas Day. There we go. So I think that's the right amount. That fits around. It's not too snaggy. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to take the bubble out now. And I'm going to fold my beadwork in half. Because I need to go through the seed bead on the other side. But I definitely need to make sure that my design is not twisted. Because there's no way to untwist it afterwards. So I'm going to go through this seed bead. And then I'm continuing my way around my crystal and adding the rest in and adding what I need to add in, the little four beads on top as well. And then I'm just going to count it and see how many units did we ended up with because I didn't. <laughs> didn't really pay attention to that, so I don't know. But it doesn't matter if it's 15, we're going to hang it on every third if it's 16 we got an option to do every second or every fourth so we could have four sides coming down if it's 17 then we, we will deal with it we will we will just work it out all right so I went all the way around I'm just going to come into this crystal actually what I could do is weave it back around I'm just going to weave this back around to my tail and I can knot my working end and my tail together and in fact I could get maybe I don't don't need to get rid of there's not much thread left the one where I'm working with so I don't need to get rid of uh, I'm gonna get rid of that one but the tail is still on the bobbin so I can take more thread off that but definitely I just want to knot these together so that's coming out of there so i'm just going to go through this seed bead and this one and then i'm going to knot it together so it kind of like finishes it off them there we go so we got a perfect little band here and i'm going to try this on our bobble Yep, that looks quite nice and just sits on there. So now we need to work out how we're going to suspend this in the middle of the bubble. Like how are we going to hook into one of these um, or how many we're going to hook into. So let's just take this off and let's have a look. So we have got, um, if I am turn this in, turn it sort of that way that we can, we can see it well. It's not twisted anywhere at all. So we do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we ended up with sixteen little um sort of four crystals. So that's great. So we can do we can do every fourth one. So we we kind of come up to the top of the bubble. In every fourth one or we can do every second one what what shall we do shall we suspend it into every fourth or every second do let me know what would you like to do and that will be obviously 
coming to the top of the bubble. So every fourth or every second, which one do you want me to do? That design would make a lovely bracelet or necklace, absolutely. Any bracelet or necklace really would, would you can use it as a decoration. Good evening, David. Nice to see you here. This design is based on a pixel bracelet, absolutely. It's like we just added the extra little seed beads, like you don't add the extra four seed beads on the um, on the pixie, you just sort of go along. You only add four in the middle there. And because we need this to hook into, then that's what we're gonna, how about every fourth, Rachel is saying, Mina is saying fourth, Amlin is saying two, we got two, two, two for the fourth and one for the two. So I, I need some more opinions on this one. Every second or every fourth shall we hook into? Do let me know. At the moment, more people preferring the fourth, so we're gonna go have to go with the fourth. So if I wanna go into every fourth one, and I'm gonna need some more thread. Then what we need to do, and I'm going to start a new thread, we're going to start at the top. And let me just thread this. We're going to start at the top. Lucy's saying fourth as well, so three, three for the four. <laughs> so I'm going to go with the four. So we're going to start at the top. So I'm going to need a number of seed beads. I'm going to start with the circle at the top, which is divide the ball by four. Um, if I grab, if I grab this one, now the number of, um, seed beads you're going to add to the top is, have to go over this, this part of the bubble. Some of the bubbles have smaller ones, some of the bubbles have larger ones. So as a rule of thumb, I like to start with sort of 40 because that gives you this one. This, this one is slightly smaller. Can you see on that one is a slightly bigger so if you start with 40, it kind of will fit most of the most of the baubles. And this is the bauble, and I'll show you at the end. We'll be doing in the beat club in a couple of weeks. Um, right, so I'm going to start with 40, and then we're going to have to come out of every 10th bead um, and suspend it. We could even... Ooh... I got an idea. <laughs> we could even sort of fork onto it. So we'd come at the tenth bead and then come to this one and this one. And then this one. So if if we went with this one and this one, and then this one, this one, two, this one, and two, this one, one, two. Yeah, that would work as well. Okay, cool. I got an idea. So I'm gonna pick up 40 beads and sort of put it into a circle and then we'll see come out of every tenth bead and start to go down so that's five i got ten i'm gonna have to sort of talk and count at the same time and sometimes it's so hard um to kind of like keep on track because you do need the exact amount because you want to come out of every tenth bead otherwise it's going to look a little bit lopsided so that was 20, 25, 30. Lily's asking, how's Roxy? Roxy's really good. Um, she's getting bigger and bigger. We, the weather was so nice on Monday that we went for quite a long walk. She really enjoyed it down the seafront. So I got 40 beads on here. I'm gonna go around all 40 one more time to form a circle. She broke one of my plates on Sunday. She was a bit naughty. And actually we're talking about the beat club this today. Like I, I thought with the, isn't it funny? So if your best friend comes around or your partner or your kids or, or you know, grandparents, anybody or, or, or parents or nieces, nephews come around and you sort of give them some a cup of tea or anything and they accidentally break one of your plates or one of your cups you kind of feel like oh it's okay but like you kind of feel like a little bit i don't know maybe frustrated is the right world that they should have taken better care or looked at more or i don't really know so anyway roxy blow broke um one of my favorite plates on sunday and 
And I was like, oh no. And then immediately my brain ran to, well, it was only applied. And how funny is that, that when, you know, like your, your, your dog or cat, your pet does something like that, like you can't feel, you can't be mad at them at all. You're just like, oh, it was only applied, it's all right. So I'm going to pick up, I'm coming at A bead, it doesn't matter which bead you're coming at. I'm going to pick up 20 and I'm going to just quickly see how much is the 20 going to come down. 5, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, how much you're going to come down. So where, because this is the sort of the suspense we're going to have on the bobble to the top of that uh, I think 20 perhaps if we're gonna tee off if we deal tee off a 10 yeah 20 will be fine so I'm gonna go ahead I had another idea so kind of we're gonna do every fourth one and every second one at the same time so I'm gonna pop this down I'm gonna make sure that there is no um, no twist in it anywhere. And as I'm coming out of the the 20th bead, I'm just gonna, ooh, I could add a crystal on the top of it. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna take three off because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take three off. I'm gonna pick up a crystal and I'm gonna pick up a seed bead. So we're gonna have like a little decoration at the top there. Back off, back off, back up, back up. So a crystal and a seed bead. And then now I'm gonna take this down. So we have a little decoration on the top there. I'm gonna go through, it doesn't matter which one you're gonna start with, any of these top seed beads I'm gonna go through. Then I'm going to go back through, I'm going to go back through the seed bead. I'm going to go back to the seed bead and I'm going to go back to the crystal and I'm going to go back to seven more seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to pull this nice and tight. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up seven seed beads. Three, four, five, six, seven, a crystal and a seed. And I'm gonna take this down. And now I'm gonna miss one crystal and I'm gonna go through the next. I'm gonna pull this up and now I'm gonna go all the way back up to my circle. So I'm just gonna go seed bead, crystal, all the seed beads, all these seed beads, all the way back up. And see, I'm coming out of that seed bead. I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna go the other direction and I'm gonna go through 10 seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, I'm going to pick up 17 seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, crystal, seed bead. And I'm going to make sure it's not twisted i'm gonna go through i'm gonna miss one i'm gonna go through the next one i'm gonna come back through the seed bead crystal and seven more seed beads one two three four five six seven i'm gonna pull this up and then I'm going to pick up seven seed beads. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, a crystal, a seed bead. I'm going to miss the next unit and go to the top of the one after that and go all the way back up to the top. And then I'm going to go along ten beads again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to start again. But before I do, I'm just going to pop it on the bubble and just going to have a quick look. How does it look like? Because if you need to adjust the number, it's less to take back. I think that's going to look really nice. So that's just going to sit there. And all of these sort of lines are going to come down just like that. And I'm going to be going to do the same on the other side as well. Although I don't know if you need to... If you need to hook into there as well, we see. So I don't want too big gaps, but then like you don't want to spend so much time sort of stringing. Like you, the, the band itself taking some time to do, so you don't want to kind of like sit there and do um, loads of stringing. So it's kind of working out a, a, a middle ground. 10, 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, and the crystal and the seed bead. Taking it down, I'm gonna miss the next top. Gonna miss one out and go to the one after that. Then I'm gonna go back up through seed bead, crystal, and seven more seed beads. There we go. I'm going to pick up, just get rid of these ends. I'm going to pick up seven seed beads. I'm going to pick up seven seed beads and a crystal. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a crystal and the seed bead. And miss one, go to the next one, and then go all the way to the top. So, to the seed bead crystal, to the seven, just added, and then the ten, all the way to the circle. And then I'm going to go along ten on our base circle at the top. And add our last little line coming down. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. I'm going to pick up 17 seed beads again for the last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm so, I really want to see how does this look. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16, 17, and the crystal and the seed bead. Taking these down, I'm gonna make sure there is no twist, and I'm gonna go miss one and go through the next one. And I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna go through the seed bead, the crystal, and seven more seed beads one two three four five six seven that's right i'm going to pick up seven seed beads one two three four five six seven a crystal a seed bead and i'm gonna come through i'm gonna miss one and i'm gonna come through this one right here so they kind of did both. <laughs> we did every second one and every fourth one. Um, how's that for a sort of a resolution? 
and I'm gonna go all the way to the top again there we go and then I'm gonna try it on a bauble and we will see how does it feel I cannot write this is always like this is the last step and you like adding the last bit it's like come on and hurry up I just quickly I just want to add it on there so I can have a look I just want to have a look I think it's gonna look good so I'm just gonna open it up like a little hat insert the bauble in there there we go and then see how is this gonna come on there i think it's gonna look good there we go so i am gonna oh it does look good what i'm gonna do i'm gonna change the camera so you can see it from the front there we go i mean excuse all the threads they're like hanging everywhere but i think that looks really good and now we can decide I'm going to have to go tonight, but I'm going to put this on the side and we can continue on this next week because <laughs> unless if I get so excited and I get to it first, but now we can decide that if you want to add tassels on the bottom and I need to sort of tidy up these threads, but if you want to add tassels on the bottom or what we want to do, or we want to add other beads and this is only four millimeter crystals and size 11 seed beads. Let me just come closer to the camera. Four millimeter crystals and size 11 seed beads and just adding a little band to it but even if you just decided that um now we don't want to sort of add anything to the bottom of it just by adding the band on the top of the bubble i think it looks really nice so what do you think do let me know in the comments do we need any more we could go and and if you wanted to you could go and come out of uh the fifth bead and sort of draw another line down um so it kind of like have not having the top that bare but i think actually looks nice i do like it they be saying loose stunning kitty Valen, thank you so much looks fantastic so <laughs> I, I i think uh, rachel's saying love it i think this week's bauble makes up for last week bauble um loose stunning already so i'm gonna um I'm going to put this to the side and we're going to continue this on next week. How did you get into beading? Oh, it's a long story, Janice. I'll tell you next week. Well, it's not that long, but I'll tell you next week. I need to go and um, feed Roxy her dinner. Bless her. She's been really good. She's just been laying in here all all evening. And um, she's been so good. She's such, she's such a good dog. I cannot believe touch wood. <laughs> How lucky I am with her. Right, everybody have a beautiful... Um, I like Poundland ones and make lots of bubble bubble covers. Just make a few netted ones and we will post that on the group. Oh, thank you. That would be great. But do send it to me as well because then I can um, pop it and show everybody um, on the live as well. So, everybody... <laughs> yes, poor crystal and a sparkle. Absolutely, we want it sparkle. Everybody have a beautiful evening. Um, I am. Oh, I'm going to show you. If I'm on this camera now, I'm going to show you this one as well. So this is what I'm doing in Beat Club. Not next week, but the week after, we will be doing this uh, um, this bauble and be teaching how to making it. Um, very different from the ones I did before, but I really enjoyed making it. Um, as well so i'm all bubbled out i think this year but we'll continue this bubble next week so everybody have a beautiful beautiful week i will be live on totally at 10 a.m on friday with the holiday club q a we'll tell you all about it and uh, and then <laughs> we'll open day on saturday because so much happening this week natalie is coming down we're going to be putting together loads of lovely kits and loads of bits and pieces next week i'm back on totally on i don't even know monday or wednesday <laughs> i don't even know i haven't got the diary in front of me but um anyway i'll see you very soon have a beautiful evening everybody a beautiful weekend if i don't see you and i see you next week